Daddy. Put the car away, will you, Jim? Yes, sir. How's it going? Usual. I don't like sitting at bars, Dandy. People look. Human nature, Max. If people didn't use their eyes, they wouldn't be people. Just a world full of moles. I still don't like waiting. You're early tonight. Daylight savings. I didn't know you ran your business on a schedule. Well, I conformed. Everything's routine these days, Dandy. It's the way of the world. Progress. Yeah. Where's Tony tonight? I let him have a night off. Don't you feel undressed? Only when my eyes are closed. Hands up, man. Four is a point. Watch yourself. Nine at the nine. Four is a point. Is there somebody up there, boys? All right, that's four. Four is a point. Hands up, man. Hands up. Four is a point. Six. Eight. One, four. How much do you make a year? It depends. How much do you lose? Nine, I the point, I left the old man. Nine out, I the point, hands up, coming out. Nine, the winner, left the winner, man. Hands up, say everybody. How's business? Agreeable. Never been in before. She's unhappy. She say so? No. Hello. Hello. I'm not lonesome. Well, good for you. We're closing up. You work here? It's my place. I'm uh, sorry, but it's two o'clock. Okay. Could I have just one more, though? This one sort of lost its nerve. Marty. Same. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, wait a minute. Won't you have a drink with me? Oh, thanks. Matter is my lipstick smeared. Marty tells me you're unhappy. Marty? Bartender. Marty, do I look unhappy? Sure. But who doesn't? He's an observer, he spots people. Kind of like an air raid warden turned evangelist. Knows his business. Not a lot of practice. He once told me there's nothing like looking at the world through an old gin bottle. Sounds like it would be distorted. Well, I guess you have to be an expert, like Monty. But, uh, what's your problem? My husband. He's going to kill me. What do you say to a girl whose husband's going to kill her? Nothing. I don't know why I told you. Because I asked. That's right, you did, didn't you? Well, Mr. Dandy. Mr. Dandy, I think I'll take a walk. Marty, may I have my check, please? It's on the house. Thank you. Oh, uh, about that walk. You worried about me, Mr. Dandy? I guess so.
What makes you think your husband's going to kill you? Well, he hasn't been exactly honest in his business dealings. It's a very dull story, Mr. Dandy. I'd like to hear it. All right. He's been stealing money from his business associate. I found out about it, and he thinks I'm going to tell. You can read it in any dime detective novel. What's your husband's name? His name's Caspery. Steve Caspery. What's the matter? Do you know him? Yeah, I've heard about him. He's, uh, he's in the... Uh... Rackets. That's a dull story, too. Young, small-town girl comes to the big city. You probably wouldn't believe it. He's in business with Max Bruno. Very bad boy. Why don't you tell the police? Tell them my husband's been stealing from Max, that he's going to kill me. Well, it's a pretty good story. Sure. The police would have a nice long talk with Steve and Max. Steve would say I was crazy and Max would check. Somebody would wind up dead. That's what you're worried about anyway, isn't it? It's a problem, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you. Keep them advertising. Thanks for walking with me. Where are you going? I don't know. Home, maybe. Maybe Las Vegas to see a lawyer. Whatever it is, you'll read about it. Anything I can do? I'd like to call you sometime. Sure. But uh, make it after Las Vegas. Hmm? Of course. Thank you. Night. Night. Wait a minute. I made a mistake. It isn't good night. It's good morning, isn't it? Nice walk? Uh, she was unhappy, all right. She looked it. We all do sooner or later. Very attractive. She thinks her husband's going to kill her. They all do sooner or later. Number 16. Good seven, that's the loser, man. Come on, we're new point. New point, hands up, money down. Here he goes, man. Put your money down, place your bet. How'd it go, Max? Fair, you took me for about 30,000. Fair enough. Like you said, Dandy, progress. See you Tuesday. Max, uh, how's your partner? Steve? He's all right. Why? Just wondering why you never brought him by. You take enough off of me. What do you want, the whole business? I don't like him. That girl at the table, the one I took a walk with? Yeah? Married to his partner. Go home, get some sleep. You look tired. You're a liar. Well, then just go home. If her husband's gonna knock her off, no sense you getting in the middle. You'd just be uncomfortable. You know something, Monty? You got a point. Good night. late, Mr. Dandy. Oh, just about a half an hour. The radio is still on. I like music. What time did you get in? A little before three. Do you always go to sleep with your radio on? Look, I smoked a cigarette, had a glass of milk, stretched out on the couch and fell asleep. You don't seem to be worried. Should I be? We're from homicide, Mr. Dandy. You said that. It's almost four o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. This happens to you every day? Well, not every day, no. Probably make me a little nervous, would it? Do you know a Mrs. Beth Caspery? 
Yeah, I met her tonight. In your club? That's right. Is this from your club, Mr. Dante? That's done three nine six two. That's Mike's change. Did you write it on that cover? I did. And Mrs. Casquery took them with her. Is she dead? That's an interesting question. Well, average. You're from homicide. Mrs. Casper is the last person I saw with those matches. She told me she was going to be killed. You better get dressed. Where are we going? To the morgue. On the way down, you can tell us all about your evening with Mrs. Casper. She's dead, then. Very. It's not very nice, but take another look. Well, it's the same hair, same dress. She's wearing a mink stole. We've got it upstairs. Did she tell you who was going to kill her? You better talk to her husband. He's upstairs, too. Sorry, routine. Don't you guys have trouble sleeping? Here. You need a smoke. This is Mr. Danny. Who are you? This is Steve Casper, Mr. Danny. What's he got to do with it? You saw your wife earlier this evening. You know who killed her? No. We thought you might tell us, Steve. I wasn't home. I don't know who did it. Your wife told Mr. Danny you were planning on it. He tell you that? That's right. Your name's Danny? That's right. You're a liar, Mr. Danny. You're lucky you ran a police station on the street. I'd kick your teeth in. Yeah. Well, you're still a liar. My wife wouldn't say I was going to kill her. Send Max Bruno in. How long have you known my wife, Mr. Daddy? I just met her tonight for the first time. And she told you I was going to kill her. How are you, Lieutenant? Sit down, Max. You look sleepy, Tony. You got arrested for speeding, Steve? Somebody killed Beth. Killed Beth? Yeah. Do you know anything about it, Max? Well, I haven't seen Steve's wife for a week. This guy says he saw her tonight. She told him I was going to kill her. Who is he? His name's Dandy. He's a liar. That kind of remark bothers me, Casper. You're a rough boy, huh, Mr. Dandy? You think I'm a liar, Max? I don't know you. And I don't know why you want me down here for. I don't know nothing about Steve's wife getting killed. Steve's your partner. I don't know nothing about what he does in his spare time. If he kills his wife, it's his business. If you prove it, I guess I'll have to look for a new partner. Where were you tonight? Yeah. Where were you, Max? At home. With Tony? Yeah. All right, Tony? That's right. Did you know your partner's been stealing money from you? That's a lie. That's a dirty, rotten lie. Did you know, Max? No. You can steal it from me, Steve? No, Max, no. Can you check that, Max? I'll let you know. I understand Mr. Daddy runs a very interesting club. And what club is that? Called Daddy's Inferno. Oh, yeah, I go there sometimes. Pretty good food. I'm surprised you don't know Mr. Danny. I'm not. I never met him personally. 
Don't you get to know your customers, Mr. Daddy? Oh, I can't get to know them all personally, can I, Lieutenant? All right, Max, you and Tony can go. I'll be talking to you later. Not you. I'm holding you for murder, Caspery. What about me? Yeah, you can go. Don't worry, Caspery. It isn't every day you kill your wife. business? Go on. I got a car downstairs. Where to? Beach? I've seen the ocean. From the bottom? Move. I'm on a tight schedule. Come on, Tony. You're going to kill me. At least you can tell me about it. What's the difference? That's what I mean. Move. <laughs> now, you see, it makes a lot of difference. Now, tell me about it. You're on a tighter schedule than you think. Now, tell me. That, that dame in your place last night. Beth Caspery? No, Max planted her there. She wasn't Beth Caspery? No, she was only supposed to make you think she was. <coughs> Why? So that when the real Mrs. Caspery was killed, you'd think it was the dame in your place and tell the cops. You killed the real Mrs. Caspery and fixed it so I couldn't recognize her. Yeah. I didn't like the job. Well, why kill me? Well, because sooner or later you got to find out that the dame in your place wasn't the real Mrs. Caspery and put Max on the spot. Why me? Why pick me for a patsy? Well, Max doesn't like you. Not only that, you're into him for 72 grand. 73. Go on. Well, this way, you do him a favor before he kills you. You tell the cops and they believe you. They arrest Steve and Max gets rid of a partner. Who was the girl in my place tonight? Just a dame. Who was she? Shaw, Nancy Shaw. Well, where can I find her? Carlton Arms over on 58th Street. Let's go see her. Max will kill me. Take your choice. It's me or Max. sleeping off a skull fracture. I'll be right over. Wait for me. I can't. I got a date. Oh, wait a minute, Daddy. Stay put till I get there. Do you hear me? Don't leave till I get there. Who is it? Special delivery. Shove it under the door. You'll have to sign for it. I could sing it to you if you like, courtesy of the house. Max! You caused a lot of killing today. Where's Tony? He had a little accident. 
The police probably have him by now. I didn't want to tell them about you until I was sure. I could use an hour's head start. I wouldn't give it to you if it was your birthday. Got another cigarette? Keep him. so illegal in this state. The DA is... Plays poker in his den. Sorry. The girl told us the whole story. We'll be an inquest, but I don't think you'll be held. Well, I'll see you soon. Buy a drink? No, thanks. <laughs> He's been watching every scotch and soda I mixed. I thought he was gonna faint. Professional dignity. He'll make up for it when he's off duty. The last one closed up your back room and cost you a hundred G's a year. She with anybody? Not yet. Monty says you look lonesome. Monty? Bartender. My name's Dante. Oh, this is your place. Can I buy you a drink? Sure. Why not? What's your problem? Oh, it's a long story. You just get bored. Try me. It's my husband. You see, when I came home tonight, what's the matter? Oh, uh, nothing, nothing, dear. Uh, checks on me, have anything you like. But... Go ahead and have dinner. It's on the house. Love you dearly. What's wrong? I just got out of that in time. This place could have been a garage by morning. 